So, the sandwich stack was in the oven for uh, four days at 45 degrees. Now the resin is hardened and we have to open the stack. We have to end mantle our uh, uh, slices. So now we just open the covering foil, take out first the glass plates, and uh, after each glass plate was removed, we have our slices. The slices are between two foils. So you can see there are no air bubbles on the slices, only around the slices. So in the end, we will cut out the desired slices out of the big slice, and there will be no air bubbles on our slice. So, how do we open it? We just have to pull apart the foil. And when we put apart the foil, in the middle, the epoxy plate containing our slices will be there. So, uh, it doesn't look very nice because we have a lot of air bubbles but in the next step, we have to cut around the desired specimen and have only the uh, body slices that we have uh, casted. So you can see here, we've done this cutting. We cut out the desired slices and in the end, after peeling apart the foils and cutting around the slice, we get the final product. The final product is very thin, and on the slice, on the button, and on the top side of our slice, we won't have any air bubbles. Just remember how it looked like. It looked like bad with a lot of air bubbles in between, but no air bubbles on the surface of our specimen. So actually that's the fi finished product. So uh, it should look like you have a nice color of the tissue of the muscle and actually the connective tissue is translucent. E12, the E12 technique was designed to make the connective tissue translucent. One big disadvantage of uh, epoxy is it gets yellow in time. This, uh, this fact is due to the resin, but on the other hand, due to the hardener. E1 hardener is an amine hardener, and it's light sensitive, so in time it gets, uh, our slices get ye a yellow touch. So you can see here some older uh, uh, slices, that's uh, human uh, trunk slices, which are uh, yellow with a yellow touch inside the connective tissue. So if you look at it, it's slight yellow. That doesn't matter. Because when you have the fresh slices, the first thing that you have to do is to digitalize your slices. That means you will take pictures on the negatoscope or like here on this side. You take picture or you scan it in. Now it's the right moment for that because uh, the surface isn't scratched and you will get the best quality. After you scan them in, you can enlarge it and you will see details that are very nice. You see here an enlargement of this slice. Uh, dog forelimb was cut in slices. It was a series of uh, slices. After processing them with uh, E12, you can enlarge and make nice picture of them. So that's the big advantage when you digitalize them, make it right after you have opened your sandwich, at that moment that the surface is unscratched. In time, E12 is quite sensitive, you can scratch the surfaces and you won't have such nice pictures. So, if you've done everything right, if you've done a right dehydration, right impregnation, or a right uh, curing, in the end, 
you will have nice slices.